Hello friends, welcome to BISP Solutions. Myself Ashwin and I work as a technical consultant at BISP Solutions. BISP Solutions is a tech company and provide technological solutions across the world. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a suitlet, how to design a suitlet form. In this video, we will design a suitlet form. Now suitlet form is used to take the information from the user and fill it in some record. Now here we can design our own suitlet form. Let me show you with an example. Here I have written the code of suitlet, a complete form. Now let's upload this and then I will show you how it works. New script. Suitlet form we have taken and then we save it. Now we will deploy the script. Here we will take the get request and available without login. And then I will save it. Now we will get this link, right? Now see here. First of all, we will focus on this. What is this user information? And this is customer information. We have created a variable form first of all we will take a server widget as usual then get request method then form equal to server widget dot create form the title of that form is customer information so here is the title of that form is customer information then we will take add field group one is user information another for company information see here one is for user information another is for company information inside that we will add some fields so what we have done here inside that add field select now select means here you will see variable select equal to form dot add field title field that is the title title means mr mrs doctor right so in this way we will add all these field f name dot add field f name dot add field that is the first name first name is here and we will make it mandatory with the help of this f name is mandatory equal to true now similarly we will go to the company name now company name here the container you will see here the container is user group initially we have taken the user group group field add group right user group so we will add all these inside this user group. So container will become the user group. Now company, you will see here the company group. We will add the field company name, the phone number and the website in all container will be the company group. So you will see here company website and phone, the group will be container will be company group. Then we will add a tab and then this is the sub tab. Now see here variable tab one that is the payment another is the inventory so the tab one is payment another is the inventory inside this we will add sub tabs form dot add sub tab form dot add sub tab right and the tab will be tab id one tab one id tab one id that means the payment so these will be added into this tab tab one id similarly the sub tab id tab one id tab one payment card so inside that you will see payment card so payment information will be the sub tab so payment information you will see here payment information this payment card one payment card two another is month now expiry month 
expiry month and the expiry year you will see here the expiry month expiry year and the container will be sub tab sub tab one id here we will add all the months from january to december then we will add the year right so in this way we have created a form so this is how we create the form this is the group and then this is the tab and then this is the sub tabs you can add as many tabs as you want now how to info insert all these information taken by the user into a record for this i have already prepared one video i recommend you to watch that video in which we have added all the information taken from a suitlet form and added into a record so i recommend you to watch that uh, video in this session we have just learned how to create a form so guys this is how we create a form and if you uh, i recommend you to practice this and if you face any difficulty then you can write down in the comment box i will try to resolve it and this is most important topic because in many times in a live project the user or the client they uh, demand that we need a separate form for any external user so that is why it is most important so guys thanks for watching the video watch my videos and subscribe my channel thank you